So, hello everybody. Welcome back to this spot in particular, and uh, welcome back to me sharing some more outfits with you. I have been really inspired recently over the last couple of weeks with my dressing. I don't know if it's the shake-up of the seasons. We're definitely getting that autumnal vibe right now. We can wear coats and boots and things like that, and uh, I don't know, that weather transition always makes me a little bit more excited to get dressed in the morning. Um, it makes me pick out things that I haven't worn since the previous season. So I think it's a really good and fun time to start exploring new outfits and different things. And I just feel generally quite inspired at the moment. So um, I this video is kind of backwards because as I was getting dressed throughout the week and the weekends in particular, I kept thinking, oh, I really like these outfits. This is kind of a weekend outfit slash weekend, couple of weekends. I'm very inspired by weekend dressing in particular at the moment because it seems to be the time I'm kind of going out and I'm doing more now and um, wearing wearing fun things and not just everyday things. So uh, this is a weekend outfit in reverse. I'm just gonna show you everything that I wore from the week now, all in one day. So uh, we'll have a few quick changes, but I just wanted to show you all of these. So we're gonna start with this, which. I mean, I'm gonna say this for everything because I do this every video I make, but I think this is one of my favorites. Um, obviously, I am wearing a coat, which excites me beyond belief, it truly does. This is uh, last year's Totem trench, and I'm so happy to be wearing this again because I bought this kind of at the final point of being able to wear it last season, um, and then it got a bit warmer, whereas now it's kind of the perfect, perfect trench weather, and this, trench is just oh it's heavenly it's definitely an investment piece um but one that i am so happy with because just pulling it out um and trying it on again just showed me that i absolutely adore it still so that is always a good thing when uh, you're buying something that should last you forever and ever um so it's just a very basic black trench it's actually black sometimes it looks a little bit navy um and it has a very long line of these tortoise shell buttons down it. There's no um, there's no belt on this trench, and it does go very far down, but the whole shape of it, I just love. It's very oversized. I got this in a medium, I think, which should be my normal size. So it comes up quite big, but I love that. I think a trench um, with this sort of shape and fit is just perfect. I wouldn't want it to be any smaller than this. It's definitely kind of a classic, while at the same time having um, just a few fun little details. There's some ties on the sleeves there and then obviously the buttons. So yes, adore this. I'm very excited to start wearing it again. I feel like this is going to be making up the majority of my autumn outfits this season. So underneath that, I just threw on this little knit and actually without the jacket, I quite like this outfit alone as well. This is from H&M. It's a really great transitional knit actually because it's very thin. It's high necked, but it's not like a full turtleneck, but really comfortable and super soft as well. So a great piece to start layering with when it's a bit too warm still to wear those really thick, chunky jumpers. And then we have it on with my staple white jeans. These are my monkey um, tiki jeans. I always forget the name of them, but they are, they're just my favorite jeans at the moment. They fit me in the way that I want them to. They're very forgiving around the waist and the high-waisted. And then I am so happy as well to be wearing my chunky boots again. These are my Arquette Stompy Stompy boots, again from last season, back in last autumn. Um, chunky boots are still everywhere at the moment. I think they're even bigger than they were last year. So again, it's nice to already have a piece in my wardrobe that um, will translate perfectly into that trend. And they are just the most comfortable things. I had a few questions about them um, when I talked about them in the last video. Considering how thick the soles are and how big they are, they come up quite far. They are so light. They are like the most lightweight boots ever. I have normal black boots that are heavier than these. Um, so yeah, that's for those of you who are curious. So then I just have on a tote bag. Um, this one is slightly different to the outfit that I wore the first time around because I've completely trashed that tote bag, to be honest. It was one from Ali Nina. Um, and then I found this in Uniqlo the other day. It's a really simple tote bag. It just has a very small little logo there, the Unico logo, which kind of blends in because it's in white. And um, I just love the way a tote bag finishes off an outfit at the moment. I feel a little bit dressy um, if I pick up one of my normal bags. Some outfits, they work, but an outfit like this, I feel like I just want to wear a tote. That's all I want to wear. 
Um, this was like two pounds. They have a few different sizes as well, which is great. Because I do go through my tote bags, um, or I have been at the moment because I've worn them so much. I think that's everything in this outfit. Um, my jewellery, I've just got these chunky and other stories hoops on. And oh, we're not in focus. And then I've got my very thin chain Masoma necklace on which um, actually had a little pendant, which I took off. I just like, I quite like the chain on its own. We're still not in focus. <laughs> there we go, hopefully you can see that. And then bracelets and things are gonna be the same throughout this whole video. I just have these two Masoma ones on, and then my Daisy London Chakra bracelet there. So this is the outfit that I actually wore yesterday, which is when I kind of decided I probably should have been filming these on the day I wore them. Um, this was just another really, casual like easy running errands type of look so i have a pair of jeans on and they're not white jeans <laughs> these are from h&m um they're just like a high-waisted they're actually like an off black they're not quite fully black they kind of match my sofa behind me um so they're a wash black off black um jean high-waisted mum jean style i do have these belted because i find h&m jean sizing a little bit weird these fit me really well on my legs i'm happy with with the shape of those, I'm happy with the way they look on the ankle and the length, but then they're quite big around my waist, so I feel like I need a belt to keep them up. I did try a size down, but they were just too tight on my thighs. It was very like sausage encasing <laughs> situation. So um, yeah, I sized up in them and I'm just gonna wear them with a belt. I've got my Another Stories belt on, which you can't really see because I have this jumper over the top. This is uh, it's actually like an oversized sweater from Uniqlo. It's got a high neck. Um, but it is like a sweater material more than a knit. This is a great one just for chucking on with anything really because it's an off-white, it's almost a creamy beige. I, I find it goes with so many things. And it's got long, long, long sleeves too. They're kind of a little bit puffy, a bit bell sleeve-like, which um, kind of matches the jacket that I'm wearing. Um, so I put this on with a very similar color jacket. I just wanted that all to be like one singular tone. This is one of my favorites. It's a couple of years old now. I think it's a Stradivarius jacket, jacket even. Um, love these shirt jackets. I think they are a great transitional piece because they're good for adding a bit of warmth, but they're not super heavy like a coat. Um, and you know, this one isn't too long, so it doesn't kind of get in the way when you are just running about doing lots of bits. I took this one uh, or was wearing this outfit in Westfield and um, didn't manage to overheat or get too stressed despite wearing a mask as well. Um, so because of that, I just had tote on as well. Again, I've got my Uniqlo tote on there just for chucking everything in. And on my feet, of course, <laughs> Birkenstocks. I love that it is sandal and coat weather or sandal and knit weather. It's, it's just the best. I really like that I can still have sandals on, but then be quite layered up on top. Um, so yeah, Birkenstocks, of course, go with everything, but I think they uh, work quite well with this outfit here. So that's my uh, very simple running errands outfit. One I will no doubt be repeating many, many times, I'm sure. Okay, so this outfit I think was uh, pretty much a firm favourite with you guys when I posted it on Instagram. Uh, and it was a favourite with me as well. This was uh, Saturday, strolling around Hampstead, trying to spot Harry Styles um, <laughs> outfit. We just walked around for a bit went into some shops, had some food, uh, and I was very comfortable the whole time. I really like uh, this outfit because it's actually very, very casual and very, uh, very comfortable, but looks a little bit nicer. So obviously it's like a kind of a two-piece suit, although these don't actually go together. I have these black trousers on, which you know I have been wearing to death recently. I actually have a whole video styling these in, was it six or seven different ways? I think it was six six different ways to wear these black trousers. They are from Topshop. They are literally the most comfortable, like cropped wide leg trouser I have ever owned. So I've been wearing those so much. Um, and of course had to incorporate them into another outfit for this video. With that, I have on just a black simple jumper. This is an Another Stories jumper. It's long sleeved. There we go. It's kind of like a puffy, puffy balloon sleeve. Normally I would wear a t-shirt with this type of outfit, but I wanted to keep it a little bit warmer so I put on a jumper with it, which when everything is together, I think pretty much gives the same effect. It's quite nice as well because it's a little bit higher on the neck. Um, and then I have this blazer on, which I think just completely makes the entire outfit. This is my Arquette um, oversized wool. 
I think it's the hop sack blazer and I got this in quite a few sizes up. I think I have this maybe in the larger size they do, maybe not, but it's really, really big. It's like your dad's blazer that you just picked out of his wardrobe and um, threw on. And I love that. I mean, you can definitely recreate this so easily just by popping into a charity shop because you always see men's black blazers there for like a fraction of the cost of uh, a new one. Although I have the Arquette one, which is a little bit more of an investment. I, I love the look so much. I think it's a really easy one to recreate. Um, so yeah, and then I just have some trainers on with it. And I think this is what kind of makes it that little bit more easy weekend casual. I've got my Converse. These are the high top black leather ones. They're not actually the canvas. They are the leather. I have these in white too, and they are far superior to the canvas ones because they just don't get dirty. They just, they don't get dirty. I walked around Hampstead Heath with these on as well, and look at them, they are pristine. If you do get anything on them, you can just wipe them down. Um, and I find myself reaching for these so much more. So yeah, I was kind of toying between the white and the black ones. In the end, I went for the black. I think that just goes with the whole, uh, all black vibe of this outfit. And then to break that up, I do have my tote again. Three times in a row, the tote has won. Um, yeah, it's a very like big <laughs> baggy tote, but I think because I have like so much black going on, it really works. So yeah, that was my very casual Hampstead weekend outfit. I also had these glasses on too. Not that it's been particularly sunny recently. Um, these are my very bad meteor, meteor sunglasses. That word just didn't want to come out of my mouth, did it? So yeah, those were on too, and there we go. I'm hoping this one is gonna translate on camera because there's a lot of black and dark tones going on here, but this was, uh, let me get a little bit further back actually, this was a really cozy, chilled outfit that I wore. We were taking the dog for a walk and then we went for a Sunday roast, and for me a Sunday outfit is just pure comfort, that is all it is about, and that is all I want to wear. So we've got a hoodie, a black hoodie, and then some tracky bottoms. I put these on first originally. These are just ASOS, um, like a charcoal gray, dark jogger, really, really soft, really, really comfy. And I always size up in joggers like this because um, I just like to have a little bit more room and they always have a drawstring or a tie string so you can just, you know, tighten them to fit your waist. But I think when they're a bit bigger, they just feel a lot nicer to wear. So I put these on and then I decided to go for like an all black or all dark monochrome monotone look um, and then for that I put this hoodie on. This is one of my favourite hoodies. Um, you won't be able to see it properly but it's from weekday. It's actually a little bit cropped. Not really cropped but it's not super long. Sometimes hoodies are so long that they, they're a little bit harder to tuck in or to style in this particular way. Um, so this one is a good length and it's so soft. I've washed this quite a few times now and the material just feels very different. It's just a really silky feeling like cotton. It's also not too thick either. I did have a t-shirt on underneath this, but I have not put it on for this recreation. I just had an Arquette crew neck t-shirt underneath. On top of that all, I threw on my Zara coat from last year. Another piece that I instantly knew when I bought it was going to last a long, long time. It's kind of like the perfect black coat. It's long line, it's got big lapels, it's got a little bit of volume on the sleeve and then some details to tuck that in these little um, buttons and it also has a tie I never tie this tie up I've said this before but I feel like coats like this with ties feel a bit dressing gowny on me <laughs> but I like the way the tie looks and an extra detail there at the back um, I've also got trainers on with this because of course what else would I wear uh, these are my New Balance 530s I haven't really picked these up much recently I've definitely been favoring my Adidas Super quartz. But I think the uh, the darker tones in these, if you can see, they have a little bit of navy blue um, and some darker piping. I think that really works with the all black outfit. Didn't wear a bag with this one. It has a lot of pockets, this coat, big pockets there, pockets in the joggers. So yeah, that was my, uh, oh, it is my perfect Sunday cozy outfit. So we're back in jeans again for what is the final outfit. Back in these H&M black wash black jeans so comfy um these i threw on along with this cardigan which is also h&m to uh, go get some coffees and some pastry on saturday morning this is a great really really great knit 
Um, I actually have it tucked in at the moment, but it's quite a long one. Equally looks just as good, I think, worn like that. Um, I just decided to tuck it in front because it's kind of a habit of mine. Um, I really like that you can wear cardigans like this buttoned up and like a jumper, so um, not necessarily over the top of anything, but just on its own. I did have a vest underneath this just for a little bit of extra warmth, but I really like the way it looks like this. I think tucking it gives it this nice slouchy effect, which kind of adds to the uh, casualness of the vibe. Casualness, is that a word? The casual look of this outfit. Um, I've also just got the belt on. Again, you can't really see it though, but that is keeping these jeans up. Um, and there's not really much else to say about this outfit. I've got my Bottega bag on, which has become, other than a tote, just my grab and go, throw things in kind of bag. I liked the way this one looked with uh, this outfit because I feel like the black leather details just give it something a bit more. Also with these and other stories, sandals. Now these are very kind of similar, I guess, to my Birkenstocks, but they're just, I feel like they're a little bit more sleek. They're a little bit more the type of sandal that I want to wear to brunch or something. They've just got two very thin straps and then an elasticated part at the back. Um, really, really comfortable for walking in. They've got quite a flat, thin sole, but I have had no problems with them. I think they're just a pretty easy um, but minimal sandal to wear with pretty much anything. And they're just a little bit, a little bit nicer than my Birkenstocks, so that's why I thought I would wear it with this outfit. I have my hair down as well with this one. I liked how it looked. Um, I also have a little bit more jewellery on. This is where we're going to struggle to focus. Let me zoom you in. There we go. So as well as my little skinny Masoma chain, which is a little bit shorter than this one, I've got my chunky curb chain, which is also from Masoma. This is a really nice thick one. It's a little bit of a statement without being too intense or in your face and chunky gold chain. But I thought because this cardigan has quite like a deep V, which I'm not really used to wearing, definitely more of a crew neck kind of girl. Um, I thought because of the deep V, it would be nice just to have a little bit more detail there. Um, but I didn't want to wear anything too much like a proper pendant. So yeah, that is my comfy, casual, but still a little bit nice Saturday brunching outfit. So that brings us to the end of this video. That was a very quick little rundown of some of the outfits that I have been wearing over the past week or so. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll leave everything linked down below, uh, outfit by outfit. If you're looking for links to anything, that'll be down there. Uh, let me know what your favorite of these was, which one would you be most likely to wear? And yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.